what's good youtube this is chi world back at you with another speed art video y'all can watch me do my thing man i would like to go ahead and give a shout out to my bro quality for this heat for these dope beats i just got from them anybody who's trying to make a hit or need some beats for your channel y'all need to go ahead and check him out He's the go-to guy. I will have his link in the bio so you can get up with that man and chop it up and talk business. Anyway, let's get to it. Today video, it's just some freestyle art, man. I just wanted to go with the flow. Flaws and all. If I mess up, I, I told myself I'm not going to delete it and start from scratch. I'm going to just finish this picture all the way through. And it turned out pretty good. It's a lot of things I didn't like about the picture, but at the end, your boy wound up falling in love with the artwork. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm finna tell y'all a little about myself. I know I just started this this vlogging thing, so let me introduce you to me the proper way, the artist, the man behind the pen, the genius himself. Born and raised, Dothan, Alabama, man. Alabama stand up, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing it for the hometown. I've been drawing my whole life, and I didn't start off good, man. It took a lot of work. I was just dedicated, and it's something I love, something I knew I wanted to do, so I stuck at it every day. And practice make perfect, man. I know a lot of people are see talented people or you'll look up to your idols like LeBron or Kobe or Michael Jordan and we just think these guys are just born great no you're not born great you work for that anything you want in life that you love and you want to become the man at it you gotta be dedicated and you got to be willing to put in the work Cause if I can show y'all some of my pictures I started out with, I was straight garbage juice. I was trash, man. Oh my god! Good thing I had a had a support and family. They was real positive. They always told me I was the man. I was great. They always made it seem like everything I brought to them was the best work they ever seen. And I appreciate them for doing that because all that did was motivated me to be the best I can be. I stuck with it every day, man. And eventually, drawing became a second nature to me. Like, I can draw a hundred times better than I can write. Like, if y'all see me write, on paper it'll look like straight chicken stretch he like for real milk. but once you see my work you'll think i'm just self-explanatory man your boy do this art thing i put in the work man i grind so if you are an inspiring artist and this something you interested in you ain't even gotta be no artist anything you want to do in life man you got to put in the work i remember a long time ago man coming home from the gym with my cousin and on that ride back to the house, he told me, see, you know what? It's a million, it's millions of people that do the exact same thing you do right now. That's practicing, that's trying to get better. And you know what you got to do to stand out from everybody that do exactly what you're doing? I asked him what? He said, you got to be the best at what you do. And when he said that to me, man, it stuck with me. My goal is to be the best who ever did it. That's the only way. You're going to be successful. Your name going to live forever. You got to be the best at what you do. You got to strive to be the greatest, man. You got to work. Only be in competition with yourself. Never say, man, I want to be better than this I want to be better than such and such because when you do that you just put limits on the peak or your peak or the potential you can reach because you never know just being yourself or trying to be the best you can surpass the people you look up to keep that in mind man 